Does your vocal sound like ass crack? Well, if you want to improve your mix, you came to the right video. My name's Shoddy Guns Beats from We Got Beats LLC, and here's seven steps to a better vocal. Step one, you gotta have the right equipment. Look, if you don't got Pro Tools or an inbox right now and you're doing music, I don't know what the hell you're doing. When I was coming up, all this stuff was very, very expensive. Nowadays, you can get it for like 200 bucks. I suggest you go and do your research. Sometimes you can get a good package deal on a good, decent mic, inbox, uh, cables, uh, monitors, all for around six or $700. Two, isolate the recording. Look, you can't be recording in a big open room. Those sound waves vibrate off the walls and then come back on the microphone and it sounds like shit. Ideally, you want a booth. If you don't have the resources for a booth, then go ahead and move your microphone into the closet. There's one piece of equipment that I love to use on all my recordings. Check in the description to the link to my blog where I show you what the equipment I like to use is. So go ahead, check the blog. Step four, check the levels. Before every recording session, you need to check the levels. You wanna make sure your input and gain levels are right. Your main goal is to make the vocal sound loud and crisp without it being overblown and distorted. Test out by moving into the mic, moving out away from the mic while you're recording. Once you have that happy medium, then proceed. Step five, EQ. I'm, I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time on the EQ or the next one because this is a very complicated subject. But I got two tips for you that you need to research further. Low pass filter, high pass filter. That's gonna take away a lot of your unwanted noise right there. I also have more information on my blog, so go ahead, check the blog. Six, compression. Again, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on compression, but I usually start out my compression settings with a ratio of four to one, and then having my attack and release right in the middle. Again, this is a topic you're gonna to have to research further. Step seven, retake and practice. Look, if you don't get it right, you probably just need to practice. I can't tell you how many times I've had people come into my studio not knowing their own lyrics, and then we had to sit here for hours and hours trying to get a verse right. Always make sure you practice before going in the studio. Those were the seven steps to a better vocal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, like, and subscribe, and share this video. Uh, leave your comments down below, any questions. Uh, make sure you check out the blog. Uh, we got plenty of great tips, information there. Uh, if you need some hot beats, go ahead and go to wegotbeats.com and uh, check out some of these other videos because uh, we got some great information coming your way and you don't want to miss out. All right, take care.